the 16 unhealthy bad habits nearly everyone has. The adage if you lose your health, you lose everything is true. Building a profession, having fun with family and friends, and finding tiny joys in everyday life are all challenging if you are not in excellent health. We all know that health is vital, but many individuals neglect it. There are circumstances where the passage of time cannot be avoided, such as aging or genetic diseases, or congenital cases, but in many cases, bad behaviors go uncorrected and harm health. In this chapter, we'll look at how numerous unhealthy behaviors are terrible for your health. And before we start, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. 1. I rarely drink water unless thirsty. A typical person need 1.5 to 2 liters of water per day. Aside from water consumed through food, such as soup or stew, it is best to consume 4 to 5 glasses of water per day. However, avoid drinking excessively after a meal. Excessive water consumption after meals can dilute digestive enzymes, impair digestion, and overstimulate the intestines, leading in diarrhea. 2. Spending an extended period of time in the bathroom reading a newspaper or book. Do you spend a long time on the toilet? Of course, bowel movement is not active, so if you have constipation, you have no choice but to sit for an extended period of time, but this is a bad habit that can lead to other anal disorders such as hemorrhoids. Bowel movement should not last more than 10 minutes. During bowel movements, it is beneficial to avoid sitting for as long as possible and to maintain your back straight with your eyes forward so that the feces may come out smoothly. If you are constipated, you should change your dietary habits or visit a hospital to alleviate your symptoms and maintain good bowel habits. 3. Avoiding or postponing going to the restroom in the morning. Did you know that the greatest time of day to defecate is right after breakfast? When we eat something, the excrement material in our colon goes to the rectum, and the stimulus is relayed to the cerebral cortex, resulting in an urge to defecate. Gastrocolic reflex is most common after breakfast, therefore going to the bathroom with or without a bowel movement helps to prevent it. If you continue to resist the need to defecate in the morning because you are busy, the sense of feeling in the large intestine is paralyzed, and you may eventually be unable to feel the urge itself, resulting in constipation. As a result, let's make it a habit to have a bowel movement after breakfast. 4. Spend the most of your time sitting or lying down. When the weather turns colder, we tend to stay indoors more and spend less time outside. The elderly, in particular, frequently lie down on warm electric heating mats to relieve back pain. However, if you lie on the heated floor for an extended period of time, the muscle fibers loosen and the muscles lose weight, which might cause greater joint pain. Even if you want to stay still because it's chilly, it's necessary to go out in the sun for a while and take care of your health with light physical exercises such as stretching during the winter. 5. Take a shower just after eating. Showering immediately after eating can cause dyspepsia and should be avoided. This is because blood, which should aid digestion in the stomach, is disseminated to different parts of the body during the shower to keep the body temperature stable. It is advised to take a shower two to three hours after or before eating. 6. Consume food with hot soup on a regular basis. Many individuals opt for warm soup dishes during the chilly season when the wind blows. Consuming hot soup can aggravate gum disease and cause tooth decay, so be cautious. When you eat hot soup, the temperature in your mouth quickly rises, irritating your teeth and exacerbating gum disease. Furthermore, because it is brewed with broth, the soup might be oily. But when swallowed, this grease adheres to the surface of the teeth, raising acidity in the mouth and creating an ideal environment for bacteria to multiply. As a result, it is best to avoid hot soup meals if you have teeth that are prone to serious cavities, and it is even better to avoid it if you are receiving orthodontic treatment or have prosthetic materials such as gold and resin on your teeth. 7. Overly round fingernails and toes. Many individuals cut their toenails round, but if they are cut too round, the margins are shortened, making them prone to bacterial infection, and both ends are rolled in, which can result in ingrown toenails that dig into the tissue. As a result, cutting the ends straight is safe, and it is advisable to cut nails after taking a shower while the hands and feet are damp. 8. Frequently sitting cross-legged or crouching. Who are accustomed to a sedentary lifestyle frequently sit cross-legged. In fact, this is considered a very terrible posture since it places eight times more strain on the knee joint than is normal. 
Be cautious since the knee rotates more than 100 degrees outward, exerting strain on the joints and causing harm to the hip joints and waist. Furthermore, it is advised to avoid the squatting position since it puts strain on the kneecap, which is located a couple of inches in front of the knee joint, and places a burden in the ankle joint by exerting eight times more weight on the ankle than typical. 9. Snacking or eating late after 9 p.m. Do you have a habit of eating dinner after 9 p.m. or consuming a large late-night snack? You will experience acute hunger if you do not eat on time, which can easily lead to overeating or binge eating. Furthermore, irregular eating habits produce putrefactive compounds in the intestines, raising the risk of colon-related disorders such as enteritis or ulcers. Unlike our intestines, which are active during the day, their capacity drops at night. So eating late-night snacks can strain them. As a result, it is advised to avoid eating after 9 p.m. 10. Take a snooze on the desk. When sleepy, office employees and students frequently fall asleep at their desks, but this posture puts a lot of strain on the spine. In severe circumstances, it might bend the S-shaped spine and result in a herniated disc. Furthermore, because this position tightens the chest and crushes the stomach, it is advisable to take a short stroll or sit in the sun to relieve weariness rather than sleeping on your stomach soon after eating. If you must sleep, sleep with your neck and waist resting against the back of a chair. 11. Smoking immediately after eating. Do you smoke as soon as you eat as a habit? In fact, the taste of cigarettes tastes better after a meal because more of the perilartan component, which delivers the sweetness of cigarettes after a meal, is absorbed. However, be cautious because perilartan is a poisonous substance that can be extremely detrimental to the body if used in high quantities. Furthermore, smoking after eating causes an imbalance in the secretion of gastric juice, which interferes with digestion and can lead to indigestion and peptic ulcers, thus it is best to avoid smoking after eating. 12. Coffee immediately following meals. After we finish our meals, most of us drink coffee. Tannins in coffee react with elements in food to inhibit digestion and absorb vitamins and minerals in the body to be excreted. It is tough to receive enough iron through meals in particular, but when this iron is mixed with the tannin in coffee, it further interferes with absorption in the body, making it much more difficult to deliver iron to our bodies. As a result, if you consider the beneficial nutrients you consume during meals, it is recommended that you drink at least 30 minutes after eating. 13. Enjoy a lengthy, hot shower. Do you take a long, hot shower to ease your body's fatigue? Taking a shower with too cold water is bad, but taking a long shower with too hot water is a quick way to ruin our skin's health. This upsets the skin's oil moisture balance, causing it to become dry and itchy. As a result, it is much better for skin health to finish it in 20 minutes with lukewarm water. 14. Frequent Usage of Artificial Tears Do you use artificial tears because your eyes are often dry and stiff? When the eyes are dry, it is natural to go for artificial tears, but excessive use over time can lead to conjunctivitis. Furthermore, it can interfere with the natural creation of the tear layer, thus it is best to avoid routine use and only use it when absolutely essential based on a specialist diagnosis. 15. Looking at a smart device's screen in the dark. Do you turn off the lights in your room before going to bed and spend your time watching videos on your phone or doing online shopping? This practice can lead to vision difficulties. When you stare at a small screen, such as a smartphone, for an extended period of time in a dark environment, your blinking rate reduces, causing dry eyes, and your pupils shrink, putting strain on your eyes and leading to an increase in intraocular pressure. An increase in intraocular pressure can lead to glaucoma and visual nerve injury, so caution is advised. 16. Brush your teeth for a long time. Brushing your teeth cleans the interior of your mouth and removes foreign substances and germs between your teeth, thus it is critical to make it a daily practice. Brushing your teeth too frequently or for too long, no matter how vital it is, can irritate and make your teeth sensitive, as well as compromise your dental health by weakening your gums. As a result, it is recommended that you clean your teeth three times a day for three minutes each time. Before concluding, if you like this video, don't forget hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to turn on the bell notification so you never miss any of our videos. Here's a look at some unhealthy habits. To live a healthy life, you must take the time to examine your habits. Remember the following when trying to break harmful habits. 
It is impossible to break the habit. It is merely replaceable. Habits are deeply established in the brain and surprisingly tenacious. It's nearly tough to change a response after you've cognitively linked it to a specific stimulus, or reinforced by a predictable reward. It can be overcome in the short term with effort, but the habit loop is suppressed but not broken. Fortunately, good habits are equally as tough as bad ones. By replacing poor behaviors with new, better ones, you can fool your brain. Over time, even positive habits become automated and replace undesirable ones tad are no longer beneficial. To replace unhealthy habits, I hope you replace them one by one with healthy behaviors. So, what do you think about this topic? Let us know what you think in the comments section.